Hi, uh, I'm Bruce Newlands. I'm the current treasurer of the Inverclyde Shed and I was previously chair for the first three years of the Inverclyde Shed. Uh, I'm, I'm a working individual and I was really just looking for somewhere to kind of spend some spare time. Um, I wanted to, I work for myself, I work uh, from the house, so I wanted a wee release, you know, to kind of, normally guys go down to the, the bottom of the garden into their own shed, um, but I'd heard about the men's shed uh, network and found out there was one starting in Inverclyde, so got involved. It's quite a wide range of things happening in Inverclyde shed, so it can be anything from making pens through to making boats. Um, we we kind of cover everything. Um, it really, you, you bring your interest along and you'll find people that have share that interest and want to get involved and help you. I think for, for people coming along the Inverne Clyde Shed, the, the basic thing is just human company. So it's friendship, uh, over a cup of tea, having a blether, working on a project. Over and above that, there's also kind of sharing the knowledge and skills um, and ideas. Um, and this, this transpires not just in the workshop, but also in, a, in the gardening that we do. So we like to kind of pay back to the community, whether it's making things for other community groups or growing food for the local community pantry. I think winning uh, Men's Shed of the Year uh, has really brought a, a huge sense of pride to us um, from our own community. Um, it's been important that it kind of confirming that what we're doing is right and it's important and that people value it. Memorial Cross from St John's Church in Union Street in Greenock. Um, one of the parishioners that was put up in memory of her father, but it was going to be a bit weather beaten, so they asked if we could maybe take it back and restore it. So what we're busy doing here at the moment is taking all the old varnish off using car scrapers um, an awful lot quicker than trying to sand it. Um, and this is only just a, an hour or so's work on it, and we're, we're down to the wood already on the big portions. Andrew's busy finishing off some of the other the, the corners and such like. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it on camera, but it's, it's, it's actually starting to come up quite nicely. Um, once we get it all stripped back, we're going to put a, a few more coats of varnish on it before taking it back down to the person. So, working with these things, is, it's, it's quite satisfying working with your hands again, you know, just doing things. You don't need to think about anything, you're just working away and you can get into a rhythm. Uh, my name's Eddie McGowan, I'm an ex-welder and I've been a member of the shed now for about two and a half, two and a half years. Uh, I came along because I had some personal injuries and I couldn't apply my trade anymore. I got into a bit of a rut, get advice to come and introduce myself here and it was the best thing I ever done. Uh, at the time it was almost about 100% woodwork orientated but it turned out when I introduced myself and they asked me what I had done as a job they said they had two building sets in here and they never knew the top through the bottom so I rigged them up and it's just a wee metalwork sections expanded through there so I come along and do wee projects making a couple of table legs here and eventually it might be a case of other people want to learn a wee bit architectural metalwork and stuff like that so mainly because what I get out of it is massive massive uh, physical and mental health you know it's a you get something to go up for in the morning you've got the company the creativity learning watching what other people are doing people watching what you're doing and everybody showing an interest and it's a great you get a great deal out of it one of the big projects that we've been working on, so we've installed 20 uh, what we call small growing spaces in schools right across Inverclyde, from Weems Bay to Port Glasgow. And we've just received funding from the National Lottery to install another 14 of them. So we're almost covering the whole school estate in Inverclyde, where we've got ongoing partnerships where we don't just put the growing spaces in for them, we help show them how to grow things as well. So it's showing kids the importance of locally grown food, uh, the skills involved with that, uh, and also the, the patience involved with it as well, that it's not a quick win, it takes time. So we try and plan things round about their uh, curriculum. So things are uh, planted when they're in school and they harvest them when they're still in school as well. Um, and they, it's great fun at the same time as well. Uh, well, welcome to the Inverclyde Sheds Show Street Garden Project. Um, it's a community garden based in Gurick. Uh, it's where we grow lots of vegetables, where people can get a little bit of their own time. So 
you can work by yourself or you can work in teams here. Uh, we put the produce to the, our local community pantry, so it goes for free, so that uh, vulnerable people can pick up fresh veg. Um, and we try and grow all sorts of different varieties down here that maybe stretch what people expect. So we've, we've in, in the last uh, growing season, we've had 15 different varieties of tatties growing here. Uh, a lot of them kind of heritage varieties like Shetland Blacks and Aran Victories. Uh, but we've also got fruit trees, we've got brassicas. It's the start of December and we're still growing here kind of thing. So um, for me, this outdoor space really provides a, a, a real, it's a different type of space to the workshops. It just allows you to kind of get out in the fresh air and really keep busy during months where the, the shed might be busier with other people. Hi, I'm Charlie and I, I come down to the garden every couple of days or sometime every day. Uh, Bruce, the supervisor, sends me a list and he comes down as well and we work together. Uh, tidying it up, keeping it looking decent for the community. And of course, picking vegetables and taking it to the pantry at, at Grieve Road. Uh, for me personally, it's lovely and relaxing. It gives me something to do. Anything's better than sitting in the house all day twiddling your thumbs. You're out in the fresh air. You're getting the job, you're getting job satisfaction, but knowing you're giving something back to the community and not just taking. And I just love the fact that just being out in the open, really. And that's what I like about it. Shed's a great organisation. It's helping a lot of people. Meeting people, talking to people. And sometimes that's the best medicine you'll ever get, is sit and talk to somebody. But yes, it's most enjoyable. And I love coming down here and doing it. I, I live in the high flats over there, that big white window. That's my kitchen, I see everything from there. And that's how I saw this garden starting up. Uh, when I was first here, this was supposed to be a secret garden, quotes. It was actually shrubs, trees, bushes, brambles, and rubbish, and ivy. A whole mass. There have been more things happening here, and more, and more community, community informant, involvement, you know, to keep it going and build it up. Uh, people can see it from the, the streets now, and it's, and it's no longer a garden. I can walk down that wee path there, and I come through the garden, and the George Wilder garden, and it's totally accessible, you know? Uh, the Inverclyde Shed has been really fortunate with, it, with a number of uh, high-profile funders, mainly the, the National Lottery, but also the Cora Foundation and Foundation Scotland as well, as well as local funders uh, like Amazon and the Inverclyde Community Fund. Where that's went is it's really allowed us to do all these activities helping our community. It's funded all these things and it's culminated in a community asset transfer of a large 4,000 4, square foot uh, shed, which we've now got a lease for 25 years on at one pound a year and half a million pounds funding from the, the Scottish Government to renovate it. So we like to think that we're putting something in place that's going to last generations in Inverclyde.